It's the Real Estate Podcast, brought to you by Ray White, the largest real estate and property group in Australasia. And welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Podcast, available on iHeartRadio and also Spotify and Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcast from. And it's another Tuesday, the 24th of May for 2022. And coming up in just a moment, we're talking to a couple of different people. Dion is here to tell us about a very small house in Melbourne the other day that was brought to market and sold very quickly. And the key word is small, especially when the neighbours thought that it was a shed that was being sold. And we're also going to be talking with Jackie Wang, a real estate agent in the inner west of Sydney suburb of Ashfield, which is fast becoming a talking point. It is changing and starting to get a lot of attention, and we'll find out why that is. But first, let's have a look at your weather around Australia. It's the main centre forecast with propertybuyer.com.au. And first to Sydney, expecting some more rain today with a high of 20 degrees. Melbourne, picture perfect, blue skies and sunshine with 19. Brisbane, more showers, expecting a high of 22 degrees. And in Perth, showers with a possible early morning storm and your high today, 20 degrees. Enjoy your morning coffee. Wake up every morning to the Real Estate Podcast. And you might have heard this the other day from Footscray, the smallest house. Well, it might be possibly the smallest house in Victoria. I don't know. We should get the agent on to tell us a little bit more about this. Dion Dada, a very good morning to you. Welcome to the Real Estate Podcast. Good morning and uh, thank you so much for having me on this morning. It's, um, It's a great pleasure. So tell us a little bit about this one, because uh, not very wide, I think five metres wide, seven metres deep, a very small section size, 188 square metres of land. So tell us what happened, because it was listed the other day and it did sell, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Look, you're, you're right. It was listed and uh, 48 hours later, we had the under offer sticker up. So it was a very quick turnaround, very, very small property. I think it had a nine metre frontage, 188 square metres, as you said, and it was snapped up pretty quick. Yeah, $699,000 was the asking price. And I see that Footscray's median house price is 962 and a little bit of change. So obviously the purchaser did their sums and thought there was some value in this. That's right. Yeah. And look, location was everything here. It was in one of the better spots of Footscray. Amazing proximity to shops, to cafes, to restaurants. So it was a no-brainer for the buyer when he saw it. He actually is renting in a parallel street. He couldn't go past it. I was having a look at it, at the picture of it, and I guess the the land is obviously crucial here. And if you have a really good architect, you might be able to really work that 188 plot for you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't think the home was of too much appeal. I would call it more so a shack than anything. Uh, there is a tenant in there at the moment. So he is living in there and it is getting a, a good rental income, 265 per week. So um, the owner is going to speak to his architect and, you know, build his dream home there. I guess that's the smallest house you've ever sold, Dion. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. It's uh, not too many that I've ever seen that come close to this, whether they're units, whether they're uh, townhouses, let alone a house. So it is very unique and uh, driving through the streets of Footscray, I've never seen anything like it. Good on you, Dion. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Have a great Tuesday. Thanks for sharing the small shack story with us this morning. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. It's, uh, it's been great. Informing you on real estate. It's the Real Estate Podcast. Well, one of the phenomenons of the property boom has been the way that suburbs around Australia have changed and in some cases radically changed. Even those with great forecast abilities have been surprised just how quickly some of these suburbs have been transformed into hotly contested properties in every state around the country. 
and supply and demand will do that for a runaway booming market over the last couple of years. And it seems that every week on the Real Estate Podcast, it seems that we're talking about one of these areas. Either it has set a new suburb record price or the popularity of a suburb has started to take off or even exploded. And one of those areas are in the inner west of Sydney called Ashfield, which has easy access to the CBD, and it's an area that has been, in terms of price point, a little bit lower, in some cases a lot lower than other Sydney suburbs. But now it's becoming trendy and could be the next Surrey Hills, some of those in the know are saying. And local real estate agent Jackie Wang knows the area pretty well. Good morning, Jackie. Welcome to the Real Estate Podcast. Uh, Perhaps uh, by starting off telling us a little bit about your ever-changing patch of real estate and what characteristics have suddenly got people talking. Good morning, Craig. Thank you for having me. I think Ashfield nowadays is quite different to eight years ago when I just started selling houses here. It's become a very multicultural and a lot of homeowners actually looking to buy in Ashfield instead of just buying investment and rent it out. We see lots of young professionals come into the area as well. So I think it's all changing. And talking of those young professionals, I saw that the largest cohort of those professionals make up around 31% coming into the area. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I think they start to seeing the value of Ashfield being so close to the city and probably being the cheapest area around Haberfield, Summerhill, Burwood, Croydon around us. So, and also we've got lots of units available for first home owners and investors. So that's probably why it's attract a lot of young people, especially young professionals. Yes, young professionals certainly are very savvy when it comes to price points. Now, talking of that, trying to pick and forecast the gentrification of a suburb is vital to get ahead of the market. And this has been one of the key attributes, I guess, for Ashfield, the whole uptick in gentrification. So tell us a little bit about that and when that first started to change. I think it started when the West Connect was start building. So all of a sudden, like it's become a very convenient place in Ashfield. It's easy to get to everywhere. And then for lots of young professional families or who's working in the city and the other half works in Parramatta. So Ashfield is just right in the middle. It's just so easy for transportation. And also there's more recreational facilities start to be built around Ashfield. So people will find a new lifestyle in the area. So that's probably why there's more and more people start looking at Ashfield. And owner occupiers, it's quite strong, isn't it, in Ashfield? It is. Uh, In the past two years, I think probably 70 to 80 percent of the property that we sold are gone to homeowners. And there are limited stocks which helps drive up the price. So what is happening right now with relation to that in Ashfield? Uh, Right now, like we did see a growing in stock levels probably from the beginning of the year. And then since the interest rates start to increase, so I think a lot of people uh, did put a hold on the selling. So again, the stock level goes down. And what about first home buyers? Because, of course, they're seeing this as potentially with the rate rise as a bit of an opportunity. Have there been opportunities for them to enter the market in your suburb? Definitely. I think lots of first home owners, particularly looking in in the West area, do favour Ashfield because Ashfield does have a lot of properties that's suitable for first home owners. And the median house price is 2.08 million. It's grown 26% over the last 12 months, while the median unit price of 745,000 is up 4.9% year on year. I mean, that's pretty good growth, isn't it? Since you've been there, you would have noticed a, a huge change. Yes, especially during the COVID. I mean, a lot of people are starting to buy their home as soon as possible due to their needs. And Ashfield uh, does represent the value value for money. <laughs> and that's why it's pushed up all the prices. All right. Well, look, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Jackie, for taking a little bit of your morning out to tell us a little bit about Ashfield. And good luck coming up in the next uh, month or two. 
Thank you very much, Craig. Thank you for having me again. We connect you to the best real estate information across Australia. The Real Estate Podcast. Thank you.